Great Barrier Reef is one of the world's most unique and biologically diverse ecosystems. The reef is resilient, which means it has a natural ability to recover from environmental impacts, but it is increasingly under pressure. Climate change, coastal development, land-based runoff from agriculture, overfishing and illegal fishing, and marine debris are affecting the reef. Today we're focusing on coastal development. So what is coastal development? Coastal development is any development activity within the Great Barrier Reef catchment. This includes farming, mining, urban and industrial development, port and marina development, aquaculture and developments on islands. In the Great Barrier Reef catchment, coastal development is driven by mining, industry and population growth, which modifies coastal ecosystems such as wetlands and their functions. Coastal development is one of the biggest threats to the Great Barrier Reef because those changes that have happened in the catchment change the function and services that support the health of the Great Barrier Reef. So what we've got is we've got nice big deep water holes for fish to go up and down. We've got lovely flows of water, big flushes of fresh water during flood events. All of these things are important to the health of the Great Barrier Reef. And as we change the landscape, we change the way water flows. So those aquatic changes are modified and we end up with changes to the um, receiving waters of the Great Barrier Reef. The changes in water flows are a bad thing for the reef because it needs a certain amount of fresh water and it needs a certain amount of nutrient as well, but we've changed those. So we've got artificial flows, faster flows that come with huge velocity. They don't have time to slow down and get filtered and get cleaned before it gets to the Great Barrier Reef. So every urban area that goes in, cement goes in and changes that ability for the ground to actually soak in the water and process it before it actually reaches the Great Barrier Reef. So the water comes in bigger flows with lots more things in it like litter, pollution. They don't have time to be cleaned before they get to the reef. And then our marine park, flora and fauna both get impacted from that. The impacts from that are actually losing those deep water holes. So you've got lots of water coming and it's got lots of sediment and it fills up the holes in the rivers and creeks. So fish don't have anywhere to go when there's a dry season. They end up in those areas where we've got nurseries for small fish. They can't actually survive anymore. So we've got lots and lots of changes that come from that water that's being delivered there because it's not in its natural state anymore. You can help protect the Great Barrier Reef's coastal areas by looking after beaches, wetlands and habitats. Get involved with your local land care or catchment care group and replant vegetation and ripe air in zones. Keep ecosystems intact and connected. Always use designated walking or riding tracks. Consider your footprint on coastal environments. Adopt your local beach, creek or wetland. For more tips on protecting coastal ecosystems, visit www.gbrmpa.gov.au